for watching. Today the topic is Bacterial Morphology and Structure, Part 1. Let's begin. Before I start the explanation, I want to say that there are a key words signed in red to help in understanding the main ideas in every slide. I will explain the general ideas in the slide and ask you to pay attention carefully to the written sentences to facilitate the understanding process smoothly in every slide. It is also known that there are two types of cells, which are prokaryotes and eukaryotes. The human and animal cells are of the type of eukaryotes. As for microorganisms, such as, they are prokaryotes. And as you can see in slide, I have written the differences between both cells. I know that some may find it difficult and say to themselves, Oh God, how will I memorize all that is in the table? I tell you, rest and take a deep breath because there is no need to memorize all that is mentioned in the table. And the simpler way is that all the characteristics mentioned in both types don't differ except in two points. The first is that the chromosome in the eukaryote exists in many forms. It is inside a nucleus surrounded by a membrane. As for the prokaryote, the DNA is located along the cell in the cytoplasm. There are some bacteria that contain a plasmid, which is a closed circuit of DNA in the cytoplasm, and its main function is antibiotic resistance. The second difference is the muramic acid, which is found only in prokaryotes, which consists of amino sugar acid and is present in the cell wall and helps the hardness and durability of the cell wall to meet any harsh conditions to stay alive. Classifies bacteria according to four factors, which are shape, size, pigment, and arrangement. And in this video, I will talk about size, arrangement, and shape of bacteria. The size of the bacteria varies from one to the other, and I have written some of the differences. But you are not required to memorize them all, and the only thing you should know is that the unit of measure for bacteria is called a micrometer. The picture in front of you describes three forms of bacteria. Each of them we will recognize. The first type, cocci, meaning spheres. Diplococci, meaning a bacterial cell that is divided into identical cells. An example of this type, Streptococcus pneumoniae. Staphylococci shape is like clusters of grape. There is a type that is straight in the form of a chain and a circular name. Example, Streptococcus pyogenes. There is a type that form four globules and it's called Sarcina ventriculi. The second type, Bacillus, which means rod shape, is an example of this type. Bacillus anthrax, and it resembles a chain. Salmonella typhi, which contains flagella, are straight in shape. Clostridium botulinum, which is spore-forming bacteria. This layer protects bacteria from factors that may lead to their death, and we will talk about it later. The last type is in the form of spiral. For example, Vibrio cholera, and another type, which called Spirilla, contains flagella. For example, Halcobacter pylori, or H. pylori, and another type, which called spirochetes, is twisted in form and elongated like a robe. For example, Triponema balidum. The arrangement of bacteria depends on two factors. The plane of cell division, which is determined by the cortical division site in the plasma membrane. The second factor, which is generation time, means the time it takes for a population of bacteria to multiply and occurs when cells plan to divide. Examples of each type. An important piece of information, which is a single plane that divides vertically, hence, we have found that if the plane and separation are equal, 
we have two pairs of cells that are conjoined upon division. If the generation agent came before the separation, we would have two cells separated from the other, and they would be single. The bacteria that form the nest form a chain in which the division factors is very fast so that it is divided before the coming of the return of the generation time. So we find the shape of the bacteria just like a cord, and the cells are attached to each other. The bacteria that resemble a grape picking, which is the staphylococci, is divided vertically and horizontally, and it differs completely from the rest of the conclusion. This results in our grape harvest. This slide shows us the structure of bacteria. All types of bacteria contain four essential structures, which are nuclear material, cytoplasm, cell membrane, and cell wall, and four optional, which are capsule, flagella, villi and fimbrae, and spore. Today I will finish the video by talking about the four essential structures. Essential structures. First, nuclear material. The genetic material contains chromosomes, and the chromosomes may be as follows single, double strained, linear, and more than one chromosome. It is responsible for the transfer of the genetic characteristics from one bacteria to another, such as spore, antibiotic resistance, endotoxin, exotoxin, and others. As for genes, they are also responsible for making the important proteins that take up space in the division. There are bacteria that contain plasmid, which is extra chromosome a few genes. Its function gives the probability of bacteria resistance to antibiotic. And another example of how bacteria can resist is through that on the cell wall, there are channels called burine, whose function is to outflux the antibiotic and prevent from entering the bacteria because it contains their receptors to recognize a foreign body approaching the cell surface. Second, cytoplasm. The fluid in the cytoplasm is called cytosol. The ribosome in the cytoplasm of the bacterium consists of 70 S. The S means Svedberg, which is the unit of measurement of ribosome. It consists of the large subunit, which is equivalent to 50S, and the small subunit, equal to 30S. The total size of the ribosome is calculated according to the density, and you are not required how. Third, Cell membrane. It consists of proteins and phospholipids and helps in maintaining the shape of the cell and also protects from the external environment and assists in breathing through the mesosomes. The lipid is manufactured in the cell membrane and also there is an important property which is the adhesion to the host cells to eliminate it. It regulates the entry and exit of materials from bacteria to external environment through channels such as nutrient, ATP, waste, and ions. Last part is cell wall. It is made of peptidoglycan and surrounds the surface of the cell, and it has two main functions which are protection from the engulfment of the antibodies and preserving the cell's outer shape. Example of the shape that I explained, cocci, bacilli, and bleomorphic. I hope that you have benefited from the information and whoever has any comments, please write it at the bottom of the video on the second topic of microbiology, and I will answer all the questions. Thanks you for following up. I will see you next week with part two of bacterial structures and morphology topic. Have a good day.